Welcome to this episode of Mommy Sea Star. Today we're going to talk about seashells. Seashells! Yes. Seashells come in many shapes and sizes. Sada! They're made by mollusks. Mollusks. Sada! Say mollusks. Sada! Mollusks. Say mollusks, yes. Mollusks. Mollusks are animals such as snails and slugs and octopuses and cuttlefish and squid. But not all mollusks make shells. And penguins eat that. Mm-hmm. That's true. Penguins do eat mollusks. A lot of the mollusk shells you'll see are like this. This is called a univalve. Uni means one, and it has one opening. This is from a sea snail. Or a bivalve. Mm, let me find a nice bivalve for us. Here's a nice bivalve. This is a clam. It's called a bivalve because bi means two. A clam is like this, right? So it has one, two shells. So, bi means two, bivalve, and is uni mine. means one, univalve. This is not a bi. Say, this excuse me. Excuse me. Do you need something? Um, yes. Yes, this one? Yeah. Oh, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, we have the univalves here and the bivalves here. And there are so many different this? kinds of beautiful seashells. This is a little oyster. Look at the variety. Now, when you see a lot of different shells together and you see all the different shapes and colors that these different species come in, this is called biodiversity. Biodiversity. Diversity is like Differences. We learn about things through their differences and their similarities. No, no. Biodiversity. Now, there are some other animals besides these mollusks that make shells. Uh, and there are, we'll show you a couple here. This is a sand dollar. Sand dollars are related to sea urchins. You know those the ones they have like the the hard shell and the spikes coming off. This is a sand dollar, very simple animal. This is the skeleton. When it's alive, it's covered in little they look like hairs, purple hairs. They're actually the legs. And it has this one hole in the back, like that. And that's another creature that makes like a hard shell, but it's different than these seashells. Here's another animal that makes a shell. These are called barnacles. Barnacles are animals that swim when they're very young and then they land on stuff. Say this was a ship that wasn't moving very fast and they attach themselves on to the surface. Even whales get barnacles. And then they grow these hard shells. The little animals live inside and they go like this and grab plankton that swims by. They better hope that their food comes by. Here's another animal. Now this is a piece of coral. Now it's gonna mix again. Are actually Colonies of many animals that make this hard shell. This is not just one animal, but many, many animals together. And coral, these very simple animals make coral reefs, which is a, it becomes an entire ecosystem. So this is a very important animal. So it's called a keystone animal. Oh, yes. That's how I'm doing this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you can start your own seashell collection. Of course, if you go to the beach. But if you can't get to the beach, you can go to like the craft store or places like Home Goods, and they sell seashells as well. And then you can pick up a little field guide such as this, and you can start to learn the different species of 
of seashells found all over the world. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Mommy Sea Star.